Hello, yes, why are we at rock bottom? Why isn't there a British Nationalist Party now riding high, given the state of the country, Brexit betrayal, jungle fever in London, murders every day? Christ, you've only got to pick the paper up. And that London now has descended into Bedlam and mass murder. There's murders every day, right? Yes. There's no premier British nationalist political party riding high and taking advantage of the state of the nation. Brexit looks as if it's going to be betrayed, which you already knew anyway. Uh, London now, like I've said, there's savagery on a scale never, ever seen before or even imagined. It's like something out of Rockwell's White Power, the chapter nightmare. Christ, it's unfolding before our very eyes. Come back, Rockwell, all is forgiven. Yes. There's no premier British nationalist political party. The NF, forget that. The BMP, just a website. So what's the movement now? Is it press like share comments? Rally the angry heads for a big march and rally in London that are bust up with the police. And all, I'll tell you what's been good about the free Tommy Robinson campaign. All the spies have revealed their hand. Have you noticed? You had Gert Wilders over, Wilders or whatever. Now, I was odd about him on the eve of a very important election called Moroccan Scum. Why would you do that? I wonder. But he's another one supporting Tommy Robinson. I won't draw any inference because I'll be called paranoid or delusional. Right. So why are we at rock bottom? Why? We should be riding high. Christ that Nick Griffin was still in control of the BNP minus the spies. That is Adam Walker, Clive Jefferson, all the rest of them, Mike Whitby, whatever. Um, even if we'd lost all our elected officials, now we could have bounced back with a vengeance. We told you so, and we'd be riding high now. And especially with uh, Brexit betrayal on the arising and London descending into chaos and bedlam by the day, we'd be riding high, but we're not. So why do you reckon that is? Come on, I want some sensible answers from you. Send me some messages, not the stupid ones you do, right? Send me some sensible messages as to why you believe. Why you believe British nationalism is not riding high. Yes, Tommy the Snitch Robinson is. He's got a worldwide following that is unbelievable. It's on a global scale, free Tommy. And you had the two spies in one, uh, Pauline Hanson's One Nation, Steve Dixon, uh, Malcolm Roberts, they, they were there being on the bandwagon of Free Tommy, and all the usual ones have been, right? Some of them will be naive dafties who don't understand what's going on. Some obviously will be fellow travellers, but that's what has been very revealing about the free Tommy Robinson. All the spies and the wrongans have shown their hand, haven't they? They've all come out the woodwork. As I say, there'll be those that aren't, I understand that. But for astute observers, they'll know the, who the wrongans are. So we have to ask ourselves again and again and again, and I don't know how many more videos I've got to do. Maybe another 200, you think, or something before the uh, the movement wakes up again and gets back on its feet. Highly unlikely. I could do these till dick docked and nothing's going to happen unless people take action, which isn't happening, right? There are those, I'm not going to mention any names, and we get called out for bullying people or picking on anyone, but there's those believe, you know, revolution's coming. It's not revolution isn't coming, or the electoral road is closed, so it's finished. It's not. That's just another piece on our arsenal, isn't it? Electoral wins, as well as backed up with sensible protest, right? Sensible, not angry heads, that are only there for entertainment, right, and a fight in a bus stop and a few scoops in Witherspoons, right, that's not going to achieve anything, you can have a hundred thousand football lads aligned or free Tommy Robinsons marching on the high streets, it's not going to change anything, in fact all it's doing is it's demonising, criminalising, comicalizing our movement and our cause, it's associating us with angry heads, violent people with dangerous ideas and dangerous views and whatever, that's what it's doing, when you see a big mob of angry young men, and not so young, marching up and down the street, right, chanting and shouting, it's scary to the vast majority of people, right? It's just like a football mob. And this is where our movement now has been taken to. There is no premier British nationalist political party in Britain. 
there isn't one. Why? When the conditions in this country are ripe for British nationalism, like never ever before, yet all we've got is press like Shea Comments and free Tommy Robinson. No one's campaigning about what's happening in London. That London now is an example as to what's coming, probably on its way, to a neighbourhood near you soon. Oh no, let's free it all. Divert away from the real issues and problems and tragedies facing our people. And let's free Tommy Robinson. What a load of fucking bollocks. And you know what? If they can manipulate our side the way they're doing this, the, the state or whoever, right? Christ, what hope have we got? If our side is taken in by this bollocks and bullshit that Tommy Robinson, some crusader, right, for the truth and justice and some anti-Islamic Richard the Lion or something, if they can do that to our lot, then Christ, that is scary. Not just the public. These lot are supposed to be on our side. But as I've said again, it's, it's the rise of social media. Social media is narciss not, narcissistic, isn't it? Where it's all about you posting your photos in your comments in press like Jay Com. It's all about you. The narcissism, that's the word, the narcissism. It's all about you, right? It's all about selfish you, how good you look. Forget what's, what's happening in the country or even free Tommy Robbins. It's how good you look on Facebook. And that's what that Facebook has created like a population of narcissists where everything's all about them. And when someone thinks like that, where everything's all about them, then nothing else in the country matters, does it? And that's dangerous, that. Very, very dangerous. But I'm sure when Mark Zuckerberg uh, created Facebook, he'd never had that in mind. Probably, uh, probably didn't, did he? Even though these people like him, they probably read Freud back to front and know exactly how to manipulate people, but then I'd be, be called uh, paranoid or delusional to believe in that he's created Facebook, knowing quite well what direction it would take people. It would create a narcissistic population where all they think about is them. How many more photos they can uh, post and uh, how many likes they can get and how many comments. Oh, look right there, Bill, Joe, whatever, right? Do you see where I'm coming from? That Facebook and that social media is going to be the death of us. Okay, thank you.